is Livin Luan. I am Ryan Milamael. Uh, we're artists and this is our show, Bukang Liwayway, at Silverlands Galleries. Where do we start? Where did, we, where did we meet? <laughs> uh, we met back in college. I so, was, yeah, yeah. First. so, okay, for those of you who don't know, um, Ryan and I are really friends. Like, we met back in 2004. So that's 17 years strong. <laughs> roughly, roughly. We're now in our mid-30s. And, and then we've been thinking about doing this show right for, it's been quite a while. Yeah. It's been like on and off. And then, we siya and then and it talk about indefinite. it randomly. Yeah, indefinite parang. Yeah. Um, since we were like, kind of like celebrating our 10th year practicing our work. We're planning to make a show, but we didn't know when. And yeah. I was given uh, a schedule to have a show, and I was thinking, maybe it's a perfect time for us to, even though it's, we're still under, you know, pandemic and yeah. such, but, but right. I, 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 I felt that it was like the perfect time to have a show together. So I think I think Ryan really had a schedule here for this time, here yeah. in Silverlands, and then we also just also didn't know yeah. where to have the show really, yeah. and you were like, "Hey, timing, timing. let's do it together, all yeah. do it together." Yeah. What we did was like um, initially, I I showed her my portfolio or like the highlights or one of few few um, exhibitions or works that are important to me, and. Uh, her as well. She showed me um, some of her important pieces that might I might react to or might you know. Um, we exchange yeah. each other's portfolio of like all the. It was works also a review for each. Yeah, of each we've other. done and like all right, and about favorite mo, yeah. like all of and favorite mo. So we to make exchange. it more casual. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, it felt like I was getting to know my friend once again. I mean, of yeah. course, I know all these things about him. But just to see him, Arayan, through his work mm -hmm. in a portfolio, it was, very, it was a very interesting mm -hmm. experience, I mm -hmm. would say. Parang, I mean, yeah. I, I knew roughly what you've done, of course, because yeah. we've been there for each other for a long time. Yeah. Going to each other's exhibitions. Yeah, and... <laughs> so, so it, I, I really like that we exchange our portfolios because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was yeah it was it was like getting to know a friend again mm -hmm. um, but initially uh, when we were like birthing the the, the, the show the ideas for the show uh, we wanted to do a lot of things yeah like we, we got too excited like I want to do sculptures I want to do painting I want to do all sorts of stuff there were I, I, so, I, many yeah, so many plans so many plans for for stuff and yeah. then I mean, it was like our first show together and we want to make it like good not just for the audience but for the both of yeah. us yeah but then i guess like the first editions of everything is always like it always needs to be heavily yeah. edited so I, I think it went through that mm -hmm. revision and like after we had the, our meeting with with isa yeah, and yeah. rage and everybody we were like hey, i think we, we got, just have yeah. to kind of it was too serious. <laughs> it was so serious, yeah. actually. It and was we so... forgot to like enjoy the yeah. process of, of making our works, I guess. Yeah. Maybe because we were affected by the pandemic yeah. and such. Uh, the concern, we have a lot of concerns and like, you know, externally, <laughs> it, a lot of things are happening. <laughs> when so. you're in it so, for so long and so very deeply, it just maybe got a little bit too serious. And, and what you see right now around us is us playing. This is us having fun. This is us uh, trying to get to roots yeah. or um, revisit, our, our revisit uh, some of our uh, passwords. Interests. Yes. Um, Childhood uh, memories, also uh, childhood playthings uh, in the form of paper dolls, and mm -hmm. then Ryan, of course, we're surrounded by flora from, mm -hmm. well, inspired from from Los Banos, mm -hmm. also. So this is what we came up. <laughs> yeah. So okay, well, let's talk about the title. some of our yeah. Actually, it's yeah, let's talk about title, and then we can. Uh, 
talk uh, about some of our work. Okay, for the title, we had we had list of titles. Yeah, we made a list. Uh, we were reworking on it and reworking on it, and I was telling her, maybe towards the end, we'll get a title din tayo. Yeah. But yeah, surprisingly. I guess uh, it was just faith, na lang na parang the ballet in the end. I think we're gonna get there, possibly, and then we did. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Um, it's a year ender show. It's a year ender show. It's been it's been a tough couple of years. Yeah. So we thought it was fitting to do Bukang Liwayway, yeah. which is the darkest before, you know, sunrise, before the dawn. It's so interesting because the Filipino language has so many names for mm, different times of the day. Yeah. It, Sir Boots, I think I had this conversation with you before in a maraming nautical and yung sunsets and sunrises. Mm -hmm. And our language has that. And one of those is Bukang Liwayway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was very apt mm -hmm. and fitting. Mm -hmm. To, to do something, to, to entitle the show that way. Um, it's a year-ender show. It's a year-ender show. And I think it's like just the hope or the promise of better things, mm -hmm. put it simply. So yeah, that's the, that's the title. That's the title. Okay. Work. <laughs> you want to talk what about else? your work? <laughs> what else? Uh, <laughs> plants. Uh, plants. Tree. I mean, uh, these series of works, probably started back when I did uh, Singapore Biennale. Uh, it was entitled Loka Saninus. Loka Saninus means um, uh, a place of refuge. So parang during the time I was working on the show, it was really difficult for me to uh, maybe sift or like think about what I really want to do. Uh, because a lot of things were happening. I mean, on a personal level, a lot of people were like, I'm losing a lot of people in my life. Ryan uh, yeah. uh, personally had, I mean, lost, even our, uh, even supposed, uh, supposedly lost three, a writer I mean, yeah. for this show. Caesar Abayaran, uh, who was supposed to write our show, yeah. he, he passed away. He passed so, away. and then Ryan was going through uh, family matters also. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. loss on his end. So it was really, you know, parang... Yeah, in a way, I went back to like, yeah. parang my place of refuge, which yeah. is like creating my, my mini worlds in this parang encapsulated. Right. Na I'm trying to invite the audience to... The, um, way back when I did the installation, uh, I invited the audience to be in the, the installation, be in the space. But this time around, I was like trying to invite the audience to be, to look at it closer or maybe observe uh, the work in a more personal level They're maybe yeah. really like i feel like the works especially yours it's like a universe onto itself yeah. like um mm -hmm. i remember like the other day joseph the other photographer was like oh you really have to look at it closely to see the details like yeah you really yeah. you really have to it really invites you in mm -hmm. you have to be drawn mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and and we we want everyone to kind of just yeah. look into it very, very closely. Zone in on the world. Zone in because there might be some details that you mm -hmm. might miss. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I, even this big work, I, this is what you're going to see initially when you go in. But there's, there's quite a lot of things going on. And um, the work here with, with this and this, although this is an old work, I was more drawn into the the action. Like this one seems like it's spinning out of control. Like I want mm -hmm. it to feel that way. And then this accordion is kind of like it's it's like you're dealing parang baraha and mm -hmm. cards. It's like jutting out of space, out of nowhere. And it's 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 kind of weird. Like why is this accordion like jutting out of the walls? But but during making the work and making a proper installation for it, I was just, I, I had to make it work, I guess, really. And, and it, it, all of it looks kind of strange, but. Reimagine landscape. Yeah, it, it's also like a universe onto itself. It, it has to, you have to look at it closely. It has no definite timeline. Because if you look at this, it looks some kind of ethnographic thing. Mm. And then, but then when you look at it closely, like eh, it doesn't make sense because there's like an airplane in it and a mascot and stuff like that. So there are some elements, no. yeah, elements and details that purposely I put there, and it's not just 
what you think it is. Mm -hmm. I, I really want people to look at it very, very closely. I think similar with history. Yeah. History, history is not is what you dynamic. make it to be. Yeah. <laughs> history is not what you make it to be. Yeah. It, it, or maybe in my head, this is what I think history is. So yeah. I think people should not take it as some mm -hmm. historical document that's mm -hmm. very accurate. I, may even be just a fantasy in my mm -hmm. head. Um, and then just to close up my, my, my tour of my work, you can look after me. Um, these works at the back, well, the frame ones, they're, so I remember we were having a conversation and then, and then because this show is also about um, childhood and, and memories also and, and looking back at us as younger art students. <laughs> yeah, younger creatives, and you talk about aspirations and inspirations. Um, Ryan was having a before in a, as a child, he would collect rocks, because yeah. there was just a lot of rocks in, in Laguna, and that was a pastime as well. Mm -hmm. Ako man, um, that my father is an artist, so there's there was also a lot, just a lot of paper and drawing material. That's what we had at home. So I made paper dolls because, you know, that's what I can do. And, and it was very interesting because I would just spend hours making these things. And again, when you think about it, it's also like creating a universe onto itself. Mm -hmm. You're making your own worlds like Ryan was also doing with his, mm -hmm. his plants. Yeah. So yeah, that's the. And to close my this one, these two pieces yeah. are very important to me. Like, I can I think it's somehow, parang. Yeah, <laughs> this was like a these. Period for them. Yeah, these two were the very last yeah. works that were brought yeah. in. So this whole space was yeah. just empty, and then Ryan then comes we in. That maybe we yeah. should just put the two works. Yeah, there. Ryan comes in, and I do think it natuldo kanya yung yeah. show. It just finished it off. So and, these I made yeah. for, I think, maybe like a creating an altar for, for those people, for the, for the things that have happened. And um, what I use is uh, the blueprint, the actual blu blueprint uh, of our house that didn't really like materialize. Uh, a promised like um, um, house that didn't really happened and what I did was like uh, I took inspiration from uh, th th these are um, parang ingredients for nga for nga nga or betel chewing because betel chewing has this parang hallucinogenic effect uh, our ancestors were using it to just, if you want to toil the fields all day long without getting tired you just chew nga nga and then you can just go all day every day without getting tired so that's what I how I feel on like working on the show as well, and this one is um, personal note. This is for my my one. Of, I, I lost uh, one of the most important person in my life, which is my grandmother, and um, it's a sampangita. Sampangita it symbolizes divine hope. So maybe that's what I was aspire, aspiring for for these pieces. Yeah. yeah so. You like the show? Yeah. You like what we've done? Out there for them. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys. <laughs> is it is this show anything you thought it would appear to be? We're quite we're quite happy with what yeah. we've done. Really, it and was, as much as we can, we, we try to enjoy the process of making yeah, we it. Yeah, we did. I th we really did have a lot of fun yeah. doing the show. It yeah. was it had its rather difficult moments, yeah. but. But we um, have to like push through and like. Well, I, I, we're quite <laughs> proud. Make it work. We make it work. But we're quite the, proud yeah. of this, this, yeah. this thing we have yeah. now that we're standing on, we're standing amidst of. So. We were also quite surprised that it ended like. Yeah, I'm also quite surprised. That, <laughs> but. Um, from our initial idea, from where it is at the moment. <laughs> I think Ryan and I, I think are, are just maybe we've matured also enough already that we, we're not, what were we saying? We're not so attached to yeah. our own works anymore. Yeah. We can kind of just be guy and, yeah. and and really, really work together. 
So it was quite the right timing. Really. And also, like um, when I was showing, we actually didn't show each other's work, no. When we were like doing the 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 show, parang no. snippets lang. Yeah. And pakita ko lang sa kanya. This is what I've been working on, but it's not a finished work. Yeah. And surprisingly, it was uh, the works are parang may dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> in a way. Yeah, it's really. We'd like everyone to feel that it's a conversation between yeah. two friends. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. And so I, I hope that's what we <laughs> convey with all this. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> thank you. Uh, if, you have, if you have any questions, just, it, just raise your hand. It's fine. Or just. Yeah, any, anything you yeah. <laughs> ask. ask just ask we'll try to answer as as uh, concisely as we can no. and or also for me on my end parang I, I felt like when I was doing the show it felt like I was doing my first show again reintroducing my works to people yeah. <laughs> or to the audience that's that's how I feel when I was doing the show my first show ever. Which was here also, yeah. Silver Lens yeah. also. <laughs> Silver Lens also. Yeah. 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 If you have any questions, just approach us and answer any questions. How about this work? Oh, yeah. Well, what's the title of this work? It's called, I don't know, For Shame, a Filipino family album. Mm -hmm. For, sh for, for shame. shame. <laughs> for okay. shame. Yeah. And? So it's I I wanted it to look like um okay, sir, you know you know when like how dads have like they open their wallet and then like out comes like pictures of all their children. That's kind of like it. That's the format. That's, That's the you know, it's like edition. yeah, it's like a random so it's pictures family uh, album, family. yeah. It's a random family album, but you have to look at it closely because there's again there's some details to it. It's it's not the prettiest of things, but so it's quite are, funny. Are, are, are like if you're saying if it's a photo album, suppose the images are. Well, the, the, maybe they're like fantasized and and, and just really imagined. Okay. It could be. It's it's funny things. I think you can't talk about family without without divulging secrets or uh, humorous instances and, and stuff like that. And I just wanted to work on that. I wanted to work on that. You, you can't talk about history without talking about family history, I think, so. And almost all of them are Yeah, like yeah. I'm not quite fond of painting faces, faces actually. I, I think, I'm not sure if you noticed that. But I'm not quite fond of putting faces on figures. Yeah, because typically if it's an album, you, yeah. you show the face. You show but, the face, yeah. But in your case, you, yeah. show, the, you, you show the face. But the back. this instance, they're all in, in, in the middle of something. Mm -hmm. You know, like something's happening to them, okay. each of them. Um, there's birth, there's death, there's tragedy, there's people hiding in closets. It's a story. There's like comedy, it. oh, there's comedy. There's no one way to really Tragedy. look at it. I, you know, I encourage you to just kind of see. Okay. Um, and it's, it's quite darkly humorous. It's quite dark and it's quite humorous. Um, and quite like funny things. It was done <laughs> what year? It was done in 2019. 19. Yeah, it was done in 2019. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I decided to restage it for the show uh, after kind of realizing what my mistake was when I first installed it in 2019. And I think as an artist, there's a bit of ego there all the time. Yeah. So you have to admit your mistake. Um, and then I went just past that and it has to be redeemed. It has to be redeemed, maybe, or I just wanted another hand at it. And I, I think we were successful in yeah, staging it. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's for shame. That's the title for shame. Step. Yes. 
I think uh, yung interest natin both sa history. It's pretty maybe. much the same, yeah. yeah. Parang we can go on and on and get too serious about yeah. facts and history and such, but yeah, like what you said, parang we tend to, parang if we're diving too much on our work, parang we sometimes forget to have fun, and maybe the dynamics of our work, it was easy na parang to have a dialogue. Yeah, I think it was really, it had so much to do with dynamics yeah, wherein dynamics. we had just an open conversation. We were joking, yeah, parang, yeah. good thing at the end of the show we're still friends. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sometimes if you work with someone, if you collaborate, yeah. you work with someone or collaborate. With you collaborate, someone, with, yeah. Parang, you have that tendency to just, I don't want to work with that person anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it had this but chance. surprisingly, it was really easy. Yeah. We were already on that level of maturity when it comes to our practices. And we, we, we don't have to, parang, oh, sa yung vida, or ikaw yung vida, or parang, th this, we, initially, we eliminated that already. Parang, parang yeah, it, the, the works are surprisingly in, in dialogue with each other. It was really maybe a delicate balance of the push and pull, yeah. which is, mm -hmm. I guess, a successful dialogue. And, and even we were installing, like, uh, <laughs> I always ask to ask her, how do you want me to install my work? Because I've been looking at my work for yeah. so long and I don't want to see it again. And then Parang, the same way her this work. This one I and this one, I'd be like, I'd, I've been working on this for months. Can you decide for me? Because I really can't. <laughs> and you're, Exhausted. Yeah. Or if we, don't, if, if we both don't want, like Rachel would decide what to do with it. So after months of working on these, when we were here, we just asked each other. And then I would install his work, and he mm -hmm. would install mine. So, it, yeah, yeah it was even in very installation. Easy. It was yeah, easy. it was easy. <laughs> it was very easy. easy. Yeah. We were very lucky that we have this dynamic. Yeah. Mm. So. so, for the paper doubles, yes. um, do you want people to cut them off? If <laughs> well, that's the ultimate flex. <laughs> I mean, would you end up making? I I um, if they want to cut it up, it's fine. It's fine. It is in their possession already, and it's fine. Yeah. But I would like scan them. Yeah. But uh, then. Yeah. Yeah, if it's successful, don't we don't know. Right. I tried my best to make them like that it works. Yeah. If ever you do cut it, but <laughs> that it would be fun to see someone do it really. So if somebody does it, please yeah. let me know. <laughs> please show me. Yeah. yeah. So. Could you also tell us about that piece? Well, um, out of all the pieces here in this show. Uh, the, this and, and Ryan's kind of Petri dish mm -hmm. specimens are the most personal. And I actually, people would somehow single this out all the time because it doesn't seem like it's, it's part, of the part of this whole series. historical thing. And I always just tell them that, well, you know, it's about my mom, whom I, I lost like almost 10 years ago. So it has a very personal, um, theme of death, mm -hmm. which is the same with Ryan's uh, two circular things. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it, space travel is mm -hmm. such a romantic thing, and I associate mm -hmm. it so much with, with death. I, I don't know why. Really, and mine, but, yeah. how we installed it, it's like binoculars. Yeah, and, and yours are installed <laughs> in a way that they're like... from afar. Yeah, like. they're like binoculars <laughs> or microscope lenses. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting because this is very microscopic and then and mine is like the great beyond yeah, cosmos. Suggesting to look far, far away. Yeah, you have to look far, far away and it's, it's you know, space travel, where are we? Okay, so, so that's what the, the cosmos work is about. It's, it's really the most personal of all my stuff here. Yeah, yeah the cosmos, space travel, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for reminding us as well. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for our walk through this afternoon. We hope you can drop by Silverlands Galleries. Our show will run until the 22nd of December.